All right, welcome to Talk and Investing. I'm Tom, and as always, this is not financial advice. Today, I want to talk about the EV charging stations. And in specific, there's four main players in this space, ChargePoint, Blink, EVGO, and Volta. So I want to go through the four of those. They had a good day today. I want to take a look at what happened with them and just talk about this space a little bit in general and see where it's going in the future and see what kind of potential there may be for some investment opportunities in here. So I have all four of these on my watch list. I own one of them, so I'll let you know which one that is later in the video. If that's content that you guys enjoyed, please remember to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Also, everybody, please remember to smash the like button. It helps us out a lot. And in our pinned comment below, you will see a link to our free discord. So we talk about this stuff all the time. We get some heated debates over there, but it's fun. So come on and join us. All right, let's take a look at the four EV stocks. I'm going to go in size by market cap. So I'm going to start with ChargePoint. ChargePoint closed at $10.80 today. So you'll see if we look at their 52 week range, it's $8.50 to $36.86. So this is very near the low end of their 52 week range. So none of these are at their 52 week lows. And like I said, they all had good days today, but they are near their 52 week lows and they did all just hit them about a week ago. So you can see that leaves this one at $3.62 billion. This is the largest market cap out of the four of them. This is ChargePoint's chart on the one day time frame, And you'll see they're down here at $10. This says $10.79. I thought it was $10 dollars and 80 cents so you can see they hit their all-time low on may 12th which was just two weeks ago and i believe they all hit their low on may 11th or 12th so what i wanted to show you is basically if i go back to april 5th so okay so for charge point they're down about 49 percent, and that's off of its low so it was down more than 50 percent, and that's just in the last two months again april and may were very brutal for these small cap high growth stocks across all the industries, across the EV stocks in particular. So if I were to go from their highs back in November, ChargePoint was, was up near $29. So it's down about 63%. Now, that is a big downturn. I will tell you, there are a lot of other small cap stocks that are down 70 and 80 and 90%. I don't know where the bottom is on this one. These did a little better than some of the ones that really got taken out. So to be fair, if I measure from their all time high, which was about 18 months ago. So that's getting a little while ago now. They're down about 78%. So, you know, that's pushing that 80% that all the rest of the stocks I'm talking about are down. So I'm just going to give one price target on this. If we could just retrace our steps and get back to where ChargePoint was two months ago, you know, at the beginning of April, that would be a 90% increase in the price of this stock. So I do believe that is an extremely realistic price target for the year 2022. I don't know when this turns around. Again, we're in a very risk off off environment and the market just seems to keep getting worse but I have got to believe at some point there is a bottom and when we hit that bottom price targets like this are going to be very reasonable I mean $20 was a very low number historically for charge point okay EV go Eve go it's trading at $9.16 and you'll see that it's 52 week range is $6.90 to $19.59 so this is a little bit further off of its lows but still near its lows so the market cap on this one is $2.4 billion. So this is the second largest one. The last two we'll look at are much, much smaller than these, although their revenues are fairly similar. So I'm not 100% sure what the big discrepancy in market cap is, but let's take a look at the EVGO chart. Okay, again, similar situation. This is April 5th. So from April 5th until now, so that's less than two months, this stock's down 35%. And from its highs in November until now, it's down 53%. So again, we don't know where the bottom is. Somewhere here two weeks ago on May 11th, it looks like this stock bottomed out. Now that doesn't mean it's this all time bottom. We have seen massive, massive volatility. So I don't know what direction this is going in, in the short term. However, you can see EVGO has also taken a big downturn in the last two months. Now, not as much as charge points. So this one's down 35%. So, so with EVGO in order to retrace its steps and get back to where it was two months ago, that would be about a 56% increase. So not quite the upside in charge point. That was 90%. This is 56%. Let's take a look at the next one. Okay, Blink Charging Station, stock ticker BLNK. Now you can see the market cap on this one drops off significantly. We are now down to a $622 million market cap and it's at $14.56. Their 52 week low is $13.84. So this is right on the brink of its 52 week low. The 52 week high for Blink was $49. This was an extremely popular stock. I would say ChargePoint and Blink by far were the most popular out of these four but all four of them are fairly popular retail trading stocks. Okay, same exact setup. Here's the Blink 
chart on the one day time frame. Blink is down 51% in less than two months. So that traces back to April 4th. So this one is down 70% off of its highs from November. And remember again, the November highs are not their all time highs. So that was about six months ago. It's down 70%. So I'm gonna keep going back to the same number. If we were just to be able to retrace our steps back to where we were at the beginning of April, that would be a 108% increase in the price of the stock of Blink. So, so from a risk reward standpoint, that is what I'm looking at. And you can see on this one, it's actually almost double bottomed. You know, it really is right here, almost at its 52 week low. And again, I have to say that doesn't mean it won't go lower because so many of these stocks are in a tailspin that, you know, we don't know where the bottom is. It's very hard to call. Okay, last one, Volta. This is the one that I actually have shares in. The market cap here is $364 million. This is by far the smallest out of all of them. But I just want to show you one thing real quick. Again, just to reiterate, these are ultra high growth companies. So this only has six analysts covering it, but they're looking at 125% growth in 2022 and 107% growth in 2023. So this is a monster, monster growth company. All four of them are really. So Volta's 52 week low is $1.65 and their 52 week high is $14.34. So here are $2.17. Once again, we're skewing very much towards the 52 week low. Okay, so here's Volta on the one day time frame. So again, just like the other ones here on May 12th, two weeks ago, it hit its all time low. I'm going to go back a little bit further on this one to the middle of March. This is a little over two months ago. In that time frame, the stock is down 55%. So very similar to the other one. Volta from its November highs is actually down 83%. So this one's been beaten up the most by far. I think they're all very similar companies. You guys need to do your due diligence because they do have slightly different products and slightly different business models. So these are not all identical, although they are all EV charging stations. So please know your company. And again, this is not financial advice. Okay, having said that, if this could just trace back to, now this is a little bit more than two months ago. This is about two months and two weeks ago, back to March 18th. That would be a 120% increase in the price of Volta's stock. So again, this is a very tricky scenario because you never know where the bottom is. So the question is, are we going to go down another 10 or 20% before this turns around? You've got to ask yourself, do you have risk tolerance to take any more downside, which may very well come. This is a very tough market. And do you have patience in the time frame to wait for these to recover? So, you know, those are some of the main variables in doing your due diligence. So I'm sure you guys know what to look for. I just wanted to go through all these EV charging stations because I think they represent some potential opportunities and I definitely at least think they should be on people's watch list. If not all four, pick your favorite and maybe watch along and see if there's a time where you feel like there's a good opportunity to buy in. So that's all I've got for you on the EV charging stations. Thanks so much for watching. If you made it this far, please remember to subscribe to the channel and to smash the like button. So thanks again, and we will see you in the next video.